Good afternoon everyone, it's Toby Hill with Artos and today's training video is going to cover tower warmers and just cover the common questions that we get with tower warmers. And probably the most common one is how to reset and program the timer. That's the timer that comes with all the hardwired versions of these tower warmers. So we might as well start with that one. Okay, this is the timer here. This is the GX96 timer. I just want to point out before we start that this can also be used as a regular on off switch. So just on and off and it will be illuminated when it's on. And if for any reason um, it, you, the screen goes blank or there's an error signal or anything it just needs to be reset. Just use a small pin or a paper clip or something and just poke that little reset button there and that will set it back to uh, clear the screen and start it back at um, 12.00 everything reset. And to go through the setting, resetting of the timer, uh, to change the day and time of the actual clock, I need to press the button that says CLK and hold it down and then hit the coordinating button. So for the days, hit the day to get the correct day and then hold it down still and change the hour and change the minute. Let go and you are done. As far as the actual function of it goes of the timer, um, there's several different options. On the mode, you can ignore that or just put it onto auto. Make sure it's on auto. Uh, we don't need it on random. That's for, or if you've got lights in the house and you want your random lights to come on um, throughout the day, we don't need that for the timer. So make sure it's on auto and you'll be good. And as far as programming goes, just hit program. And then when you hit day, you'll notice that all the days are lit up across the top. That means it will come on every day or you can change that to a particular day if you keep hitting it or if you keep um, going all the way through it'll do just weekdays so no weekend days if you hit it again it'll just do weekends hit it once more and it'll come up with all of the days that it'll come on next will be the time um, you change the hour you want it to come on at you change the minute you want it to come on at and then you hit program again then it will say off and that's um, the time that you need to set it to go for the time to turn off. So say you had it coming on at 105, change this to 205, hit program, and that's the first one set. And now notice this is a little two down there, that's the second program. So if you want to do another program, then you can do that. And that is how you set the, pro set the uh, programmable timer. Okay, the next point will be how to switch out on the heat, uh, heating element. Uh, this is very rare, but it is important, so we will cover that now. And we just need uh, three tools. You need a screwdriver to remove these little screws here. You need an uh, Allen key to remove the bracket set screws and an adjustable wrench to remove the element. And um, once you've got those tools, you need to turn the uh, power off to the unit. And then um, the first step will be to remove the screws from the uh, back plate. side and then loosen the set screws with your allen key and then the towel warmer will then be able to just be brought forward like this and the wire cover elbow can be pulled off which will expose the wires behind here undo the wire nuts and the cord can then be removed completely and so can the hard wire kit one side and remove the towel warmer from the wall and this is the crucial part is to remove the towel warmer completely and turn it upside down reason for that is that this unit is fluid filled so if you remove the heating element without turning it upside down, the fluid will drain out. Once the unit's off the wall, turn it upside down, and just using the adjustable wrench, you just simply unscrew the element. Once you get it undone a certain amount, you can just do it by hand. And it'll just 
be able to be pulled out like so. Set that to one side, get the new element, insert it, tighten with the adjustable wrench, and the unit is now ready to be reinstalled on the wall like it was before. And there you go, you got your element replaced. Our last point will cover how to install the ball finials, which is an added extra. Uh, these are very simple. All you'll need is a 5 16 hex wrench, and just notice that the towel will come standard with these little plugs. So you'll need to remove those first. So let's use the 5 16 wrench, and they simply unscrew. And once you've got those removed, the ball finial, this little piece right here will just simply screw in in its place. So just uh, screw that in the top and you can tighten it with an adjustable wrench. And there you go, you have your nice decorative orphanial installed.